Hello, and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today I'm making a remake of my detox bars. They have sold out twice, and I've been remiss in getting to them. I need to make them. I need to make them fast. So today we're doing that. Uh, some of the key ingredients in this soap, and it's wonderful, um, is activated charcoal and bentonite clay. And they are just really great for your skin. So I wrote down just a few bullet notes of why I chose to put those additives in this soap. Um, activated charcoal, the carbons in the charcoal, it absorbs toxins. Uh, it So if you have problem skin, if you have a, um, eczema, rosacea, uh, acne, that pulling sort of absorption is going to be really beneficial. Again, with the bentonite clay, which is technically not a clay, it's technically a volcanic ash, but it's also a very strong toxin pulling agent, so topically. So those two are going to be the colors in the clay, as well as good for you in the clay, in the soap. Um, so that's why I'm putting those in there. For my essential oils in this soap, I am doing tea tree and rosemary. And they have a whole bunch of benefits topically. So um, some of them is tea tree is antimicrobial. It's good for skin issues, good for poison ivy, psoriasis, just any sort of irritation. Tea tree is wonderful. And then for rosemary, it's good for wrinkles. I like that. <laughs> um, it's good for acne, eczema, skin issues. It's good for dry skin too. Sometimes when we get into problem skin and we do all this pulling, it can really dry your skin out. And you don't necessarily need to dry your skin out to heal any issues. So this is a wonderful, just uh, beneficial for if you, my husband is very reactive to chiggers. So when he gets into, you know, bug bites and things, he gets bumps and itchy. This is a great body bar. It's not just good for your face. I keep going like this. <laughs> it's great for face issues. It's good for body issues. If you have poison ivy on your legs or hands, it's wonderful for that too. Um, you can also use this on your dog. If your dog gets hot spots or skin irritations, it's wonderful for that. All that being said, <laughs> according to FDA rules, the only claim I can make is that this soap will clean you. It's a soap and it will make you clean. I'm putting all these additives in because I think they're wonderful and I would recommend you do some research and uh, look it up for yourself. But uh, this soap will clean you, so that is my claim. Um, I'm going to pull everything together. For my liquid portion, I'm using aloe vera juice. Again, with all the astringent and pulling properties in the soap, I want something very soothing, and the aloe vera juice is going to do that. It's going to bring a soothing element to this. Um, I put tussed silk fibers in the aloe juice. One of my oils that I'm using is organic hemp seed oil, and that is also, it's very emollient, it's very humectant, um, and it's a really soothing topically. So we have a combination of toxin pulling and soothing. It's just a great all around bar. Uh, so we're gonna pull everything together and make detox bars today. All right, one of the things that I'm gonna do is here's my essential oil blend, my tea tree and rosemary. Here's my bentonite clay and I am going to put my measure of bentonite clay because I'm gonna have it in everything and I'm just gonna color a portion with my activated charcoal. Um, but what it does is, is supposedly it anchors the essential oil and it'll bind to that and it'll help keep the scent and the properties of the essential oil a little bit longer and a little more stable in the cold process soap. Uh, and we want all the goodness. Essential oils are expensive and <laughs> so I want all the bang for the buck on these. So I'm going to put, there we go, and a little more. All right. So that is about maybe two tablespoons worth of bentonite clay. And I'm gonna just whisk this into my essential oils and set this off to the side while I finish getting everything prepared. I also forgot to mention um, to my oils, I have added organic colloidal oats. And again, oats are fantastic for skin irritation. They're very soothing, very healing on the skin. So lots, a good dose of oats in here also. So I think I've got that all blended and we're just going to set this to the side and let the bentonite clay just absorb and anchor into the essential oils before we add it to everything. All right, we are back and ready to get our lye solution, our organic aloe vera juice with Tussa silk fibers here into our oils and I will be hand stirring this. Uh, the bentonite clay and the rosemary 
are known to accelerate trace. So we're gonna move forward with fear and trepidation <laughs> and try to keep things controllable because I would very much like to get a beautiful swirl in here with these two colors. So the bentonite clay will make sort of a grayish cream color, just a natural color. And then of course the activated charcoal is black. So it's just a really beautiful bar when it's all done. Let me set this off to the side here. And because I want the bentonite clay and the essential oils and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and just hand stir this in. These have sat for a few minutes. They're well and absorbed and anchored in here. And I like this fragrance together. The rosemary, the tea tree, it's kind of medicinal smelling. It just goes with the whole theme for me. I like it. Um, it's good. So we're gonna just get this hand stirred and incorporated and then pour off for our activated charcoal color and get to pouring. It's really not very complicated, um, but so, so good. Just really wanna make sure that bentonite clay and essential oils is in everything. So, let's see, we've got about four. I really want almost a 50-50 split here. So I'm gonna go up to two liters in this. One of the things that I love about these containers is they have the measurements on the side so you can get at least a, a ballpark of where you're at with the color or with the portions. So let me put a nice couple of rounded. There we go. And let me get this where you can see our beautiful activated charcoal. It's a mess to work with, but so, so worth it. <laughs> It's a beautiful color, it's good for your skin. It's just fantastic. So it's worth the mess, I think. There we go. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. And I am not gonna be stick blending today. I am simply going to be hand stirring this and hand whisking until uh, I'm ready to pour. I have fallen for this before. I've made this soap multiple times now, and it's always looking great. And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to throw my stick blender in there. And then <laughs> the next thing I know, it gets firm really quick, and I regret it because my swirls come out sort of, um, well, basically, I think my bars look like killer whales. They look like Shamu to me, which isn't bad, but it's not a swirl. It's more of a just, you know, not quite zebra stripes. I think this is really beautiful. It's fluid, it's well incorporated, so I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring. So here we go. I think I'm gonna start with a little black layer. I always start light. Let's start with the dark. Okay. 